welcome back to our channel. We're in the car right now. On our way to an appointment. Guys, um, welcome. If y'all are new here, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. Uh, we do a lot of different things here. Um, we talk about DIYs and... Mommy makeovers. Mommy makeovers, surgery just, talk. Cooking, just cleaning, just everyday life. Yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah. Anyways, this is my husband Robert. My name is Bianca. Guys, um, today I'm gonna do a little bit of talk about a little bit not surgery, but after post care surgery. Um, I just had um, liposuction to my abdomen and a fat transfer to my bottom. Um, that was my second plastic surgery. Um, and today I have an appointment that I have to go and get birth control. So prior to your procedure, <laughs> you can't be on birth control. Now what birth control are you taking? So right now I've been, my daughter is 18 years old and since she was born, I've been on the depo shot every three months. You go get a shot. I have my period. You pick up the shot from the pharmacy. Pick up the shot, yeah. Take it with you. And that's kind of weird because other people that I've talked to, they say that their doctor has it in office. Mine does not. I have to go pick mine up at the pharmacy and then take it to her and she injects it, which I could probably do that at home. But right. anyways, been doing that for 18 years, every so many months. Now I'm getting tired of it. So we've been talking, talking before my surgery. You know, I had a visit with her and I let her know what was going on with me, my body, what we're doing, what I'm planning, blah, blah, blah. Surgery. The last depo shot I took was in December. Since I'm supposed to take it every three months. So I, the last one I took was December. It's now March 1st. Uh, in December, we decided no more depo after this one. We're going to change to... Marina. Marina? I think that's what it's called. What exactly is that? I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's a ring. I think it's a ring that goes in you. And there's like a string that comes out. Like, like you don't, it's not hanging out of you, but it's hanging out. I don't even know, guys. I mean, I've read up a little bit, but not even that much information. Something that goes up there and stays up there? Yeah, and it's like a five year kind of deal. For different people, it's different reactions. Hopefully, for me, it's a good one that I don't have to put up with my periods. They say the periods slow down, blah, blah, blah. Guys, the whole reason I'm on birth control is because my periods are outrageous. TMI. Um, but anyways, and that's the whole reason I'm on it. Um, so anyways, decided to go ahead and try this new thing. And I'm on my way there. They did tell you, you have to get a pill before you go, and it's got to go up inside you uh, the night before. So, and it's going to be TMI all over the place, sorry guys, but... What side effect? What? Hold on. Let's not even... Let's, let's start from the beginning. For one, I just started my period. If you're grossed out by this, guys, go ahead and log out or exit out. But this is going to be a lot of TMI today. <laughs> but started my period two days ago. My periods are kind of light um, now that I've been on the depo or whatever. Anyways, I'm on it. Then they tell me, oh, there's this pill that's got to go up the night before this procedure takes place. Did that, the whole situation, took care of all that. This morning, I woke up with an upset stomach. And uh, it's not pretty. Like, <laughs> my arm is getting tired. But guys, like I said, TMI all over the place. I mean, I'm so sorry, but I'm telling you, this is the real deal. The real deal, I'm, I'm not faking, this is it. Anyways, so I'm reading the side effects after the fact. Y'all, 
y'all know me. I, I'm, I'm late to the game on all the, a lot of stuff. But anyways, I'm reading the side effects on this um, medication that went up last night. And it, number one side effect is hmm, diarrhea. So, hence the upset stomach this morning. She got the side effect. <laughs> Basically. So, which I don't understand that whole thing. Why do they, what, why would they want that to happen? When they're going to be working in that general area anyway. When they're going to be there. It did tell me to take some ibuprofen and a lot of it because they said it is painful. More than likely, she said you won't be able to drive home. The reason why Robert's here. <laughs> and the BBL. Oh, yeah, that too. I mean, so I don't know how this is going to work out, guys. I'm like, I'm scared. I'm nervous. I'm more scared of this procedure than I was of going to go get my lipo done. I, I, that, I don't even know why that's crazy. That's that's crazy to me, but I'm more scared of this than I was going under anesthesia. I mean, I, I don't even know. So, anyways, I'm gonna go to my OB, get this figured out, and we'll see what happens, guys. Y'all pray for me. Pray for me. Um. So yeah, we'll, we'll see what goes down or up. <laughs> so I'm already called back and into the office and um, they did have me leave a urine sample um, I guess it's a pregnancy test I don't know anyways um, and then undress from the waist down all right guys y'all wish me luck I am sitting on my BBL pillow so I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna work this out. Maybe I'll have to put it like where my back is at and then just, I don't know. We'll, we're gonna see, I guess. <sighs> Anyways, I'm a little bit nervous, but uh, it's gotta happen. And so, yeah. Anyways, it's kind of in here. I got kind of everything ready. Some lights up above me. My stuff is over there. <laughs> but, guys, she's been my doctor um, for 18 years. She delivered Yaya, so I love her so much. I think we're on a personal level, me and her. <laughs> we do talk um, about our kids all the time. Every time I come in, she remembers me. Um, she does call me. I do have a nickname with her. Um, she calls me Skittles. Um, just because um, when I was pregnant with Yaya, that's basically all I ate were sour Skittles. And that's how she calls me. <laughs> And that's been for 18 years now, so kind of kind of glad that I've known her for a little while and I do trust her, so it's a little bit, um, not nerve-wracking, but I mean, it's a little bit more comforting since I do know her, and like I said, I do trust her, so basically just waiting for it to come and it can happen. Alright guys, I'll see y'all in a bit and I'll let you know right now. They did ask me what kind of pain level I'm in. I'm not in any pain. But I'm just scared. My blood pressure was up a little bit because I am nervous. I'm always nervous when I come to the doctor. So, 
So anyways, um, it was a little bit high, so I can, I guess I'll see y'all once we're done. Okay guys, so I just finished. My doctor is amazing, <laughs> Melissa Crochet. She's at UT Southwestern in Dallas, Texas. Guys, I didn't feel a thing at all. Sorry, I'm trying to get dressed with my bonnet and all everything going on. Anyways, guys, I didn't feel one thing. Um, not even when she said blow, like you're gonna feel pressure. So she's like, blow, take a deep breath. I didn't feel a thing. I mean, it was a little bit of pressure, I'm not gonna lie. Just, I mean, but nothing compared to what people were saying. I'm um, putting my Baja on, guys, and walking out. She was very surprised about how good I'm feeling, how good I'm looking after my surgery. I'm snapping on my Baja, I don't know if you can tell. But, um, it took literally two seconds. Um, she came in and that I was gonna have to be on my butt for a long period of time. And so she knew beforehand that I had, was gonna have my BBL. So, sorry, putting on my pants. So anyways, went ahead and she knew I was um, having surgery and all that, so she knew the precautions to take. Um, she did not take long at all. Literally, I was not on my butt. She had me scoot down all the way to the bottom, so my butt was kind of hanging off. Sorry. Trying to catch y'all. Now, she did say I have to make an appointment. All right, she said I have to make an appointment, so I'm gonna go do that and for a one month check. And she said, make sure that you try it out beforehand so that when you come back, we'll make sure it's working. <laughs> AKA, go home and have sex. <laughs> Not right now, but I'll explain a little bit more once I get out there. This will be updated on your mic site and you'll have it to Thank you. Was not bad at all, guys. <laughs> got worried over nothing. Basically. <laughs> as soon as I got in there, she remembered and all that about my surgery, my BBL, that I couldn't be on my bed and all that. She wanted to make sure. Everything was still the same that I did go through with the surgery, blah, blah, and she made precautions to me, make sure that I was not on my butt. Um, I think I was literally on it, like, just to get up pretty quick, but that was about it. <laughs> so guys, yeah, my doctor, she was super cool, love her. As soon as she walked in, she's like, Skittles, what's up? Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I have to come back in one month to make sure um, everything's good. I'm gonna talk to Robert here in a bit when we get in the car to make sure he knows what's gonna happen and how it's gonna feel. <laughs> okay guys, back in the car. Leaving the hospital um so all that before oh, sorry was really all for nothing 
all the worry. <laughs> all my stress, my worry, my everything. Um, nothing. Let me tell you. I think I told you a little bit in there, but let me tell you the situation. Went in there. Again, she's super cool. Super cool. As soon as I walked, she walked in. She's like, hey, Skittles, what's up? This and that. And um, she knew I had had my surgery. She wanted to see what I looked like. She knew it had recently happened. Um, she was very pleased with what, you know, my results were so far. And I, I told her it's still, like, super swollen and stuff like that. So, anyways, we've known each other for 18 years, guys. I mean, she's seen everything about me. So, <laughs> we're, like, best friends now. That's why she calls her Skittles. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that was kind of explaining. Um, sorry, Skittles were my thing when I was pregnant with Yaya, so... Um, so anyways, so guys got in there, they said undress from the waist down and wait for her. And so I could hear her in the hallway and she says, Skittles already in the room. And the girl said, yes, yeah, she's there already. So even they know she calls me that. <laughs> so anyway, she knocks on the door, walks in and she's like, Skittles, what's up? This and that. And then, um, she says, um, so let me see, let me see. That's the first thing she says. Let me see. I was like, what? She's like, get up, get up. So I get up and, of course, I'm undressed from the waist down. I'm covering myself with a little blue sheet that's like a foot long. <laughs> and so, of course, I show her my bottom half. And she's just like, wow, oh, my God, it's so great. And it's such a short amount of time. And she's like, you look great. Well, anyways, um, She's like, all right, let's get this started. Let's get the party started. And I was like, okay. She's like, are you ready? I was like, not really, but okay, let's do this. So <laughs> um, she said, she gave me, she told me the risks. She told me what can happen. I had to send consent, guys, right there in the office with her. Um, she told me um, things could happen. Extra bleeding could happen. She could per per perforate my uterus. She's never happened to her before, but it's something she has to say, whatever. So um basically it's all happened that happened like i mean super quick i feel like it was super quick at least i don't know um finally I'm, she's i'm laying down she knew i couldn't sit on my butt we kind of figured a way to not be on my butt and then um she put something in me to hold it open and then <laughs> looked like a little duck y'all know i know <laughs> y'all know what that is ladies y'all know Anyways, um, it looks like a little duck, and I saw that she was putting that in, and I kind of felt that a little bit. And then all of a sudden, she says, Okay, deep breath, deep breath, breathe in, deep breath, <laughs> deep, <laughs> deep, not just quick, quick breath, but deep breath. So, of course, I'm like, <gasps> And she's like, Blow. <laughs> so, of course, I'm blowing it out, and I'm like, She's like, Okay. And I was like, Okay, like, we're done. She said, no, two more times. <laughs> I was like, okay. Is it going to be just like this? She said, yes. Okay. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. I was like, okay. I was, guys, I was preparing for the worst. Like, I just. Sorry, you want water burger? No. No. Uh, there's Taco Cabana. Uh, or. Don Julio. Don't, right Don here. Bebis. What's that? Don Bebis. Well, it's a car now, right? I don't know. So then anyways, um, so yeah guys, so then of course, um, I did that two more times. Deep, deep, deep breath. She's like, deep breath, deep breath, deep breath, blow. Another pinch. Not, and then she's after the, the third one, after the third one, she's like, all right, we're good. We're done. Uh, so that was about it. She's like, dang, she's like, you took that like a champ. And I was like, well. I mean, I've been through some shit here lately, so <laughs> that's probably why I'm, my body's getting used to this shit. <laughs> but anyways, um, I do have to come back, guys, in one month uh, for a checkup. She did say to make sure that I um, practice before I come back to make sure that everything's on the up and up. <laughs> <laughs> so we will be practicing <laughs> as soon as I feel better guys as soon as I feel better <laughs> but um so yeah just wanted to kind of bring y'all with me on this little kind of adventure not adventure what, what would you call it this 
I don't know. A new experience. There you go. That, totally. A, a, a new life-changing experience because you're in the next stage of life. So, you know, you, you, you've already surpassed that shot that you've done every three months. Uh, so this is the next. That means I'm an old lady now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let me tell you a quick little story time. <laughs> not bad for 58 years old. So Robert really does not, has never gone with me to the doctor's office. I mean, he has gone, but I mean, he won't go in or whatever it is. Um, why so, would you go in and see all that? <laughs> like, well, why? Yeah. I mean, you want to be in that region, don't you? Not seeing them do all that to you, <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> Kind of messes up the mood. <laughs> <laughs> you see my kids being born, so. <laughs> yeah, trust me, I know. I know. That's not that's something you want to see again. It's like, ooh, <laughs> I cannot compete with that. You cannot. You cannot. Because this body right here been through some shit with some 10 pound babies. Yes. I mean. <laughs> Anyways, guys, story time, story time. Before we get off the subject. So then, you know, my doctor's office, yeah, I'm telling you, I've been with her for. 18, 20 years, whatever. Um, in the office, there's two offices, two doors to her office. One is what I just figured out the other last time I came. One side is for the young and pregnant girls. <laughs> is that what? We're... <laughs> and one side is for the old ladies. <laughs> and then I said, oh, the last time I came, I was like, oh, I've been going over here to the young side. You know, I've been th I'm thinking I'm young. So when I walked up in there the last time and she goes, oh, you're on the wrong side. You need to go out the doors and go around to the other side. And then I said, oh, okay. Like I've always been to this side, but oh, okay. So I'm sitting there, go in, you know, walked around, walked around, went in and checked in on the other side, sat down, waited around. And I started to notice guys, there's a bunch of old ladies everywhere. I, I don't want to say old, but older. And so I started noticing, noticing. Because you could see the next area where I was always going to. It's like a glass area. You can see them on that side. So then you see all these young, cute little girls, pregnant, little bellies. Just the young girls with their hubbies and blah, blah, blah. You know, everybody's just happy, go lucky and everything. And then over here on this side, it's all the old ladies that are by ourselves waiting in this little waiting area and it just seems so different like but anyways long story short I sit in the old lady's side now so funny but not funny <laughs> anyways guys uh, I think we're gonna stop and get some gas and run and get something to eat cause Robert's gonna get hungry here in a little bit so I will catch y'all later see you on the next one bye guys